What's up, YouTube? Cards with Michael here. We got a Double Masters Draft Booster case here. Go ahead and open this bad boy. And uh, today, for this video, we're just going to open one. We're going to open one of these. Um, and uh, we'll do another video where we open another one very soon. Uh, but then after that, uh, we'll open the other two boxes live. So if you haven't followed me on Twitch, my Twitch is actually Subtle Panda. The link is in the description. Um, we'll be starting to open them around 4.30 p.m. Eastern is what I want to say. Uh, so if you like live streams like that, uh, do tune in. Um, it should be a fun time. So let me go ahead put this down and... All right. All right. So yeah, here you go. Here's here's what it looks like. The, the boxes. And if you just give me one moment, set this up. Grab one of these boxes out. All right. All right. All right. Here we go. Here we go. So today's box is actually also fully sponsored. It is from JBR to Danny. A surprise. He wanted me to keep it a surprise. Um, first box opening he wanted and uh, that is what we're making happen all right let's uh, just you know, move this around a little all right perfect we're all ready to go once again this is from JBR to Danny for just being bros for being friends and I hope Danny that you are pleasantly surprised uh, man I hope to get great pulls all right so right off the bat we have this box topper put that to the side we'll open that last all right, let's see if I can make piles that are actually good this time. <laughs> let's get started, let's straight started. All right, so right off the bat, we have Conclave Naturalist. Ooh, ooh. The focus is not working. Let me get this to autofocus a little bit better. Ah, weird, okay. Uh, Cathartic Reunion, Shatter of the Squirrel. Celesia Guild Mage, Salvage Titan. So strange. Let me I'm doing this live, so or can't can't really make too many edits on this now that I've opened the box. But uh, yeah, it's so strange. That usually the autofocus just uh, automatically works, but uh, I guess not for this one. All right. Well, regardless, we got to roll with it. And here's our first rare, Bruticlad Telcor Engineer. Followed up by a driver of the dead. Oh wait, our second rare was Salvage Titan. All right, and a full hex mage with an angel token. Looking good, looking good. So setting up some piles. Put the token at the very back. All right, pack number two. Oh right, the token, the back of the token, uh, is this commander cube? Every format in between. That is the back. So strange. Today the autofocus is not working. All right, that is okay. All right, here we go. Next pack, we have an Abraid, Supernatural Stamina, Ancient Stirrings, Gleaming Barrier, Mechanist, Costly Plunder, Accomplish Automaton, Fortify, Mana Morphos. All right, all right. These are uncommon. Okay, just realized something. I didn't even show the rest of the uncommons in this pack. There was a veteran explorer and a Mishra's bobble in that first pack. All right, Manamorphos, Trash for Treasure, Topple the Statue, which makes sense that it isn't uncommon in this set because it's basically the short target permanent and draw a card. There's so many artifacts. Terrasty Nasty, Cascade Bluffs, Vidalcan Infuser, Chief of the Foundry, and a copy token. All right, oh wait, the back of the token, twice as nice, Double Masters VIP edition. All right, showing two mythics. Okay, we already know what people think about that. All right, on to the next pack. Here we go. Elvish Aberration, the Capsule, Revoke Existence, The Steed, Expedition Map, Frogify, Alabaster Mage, and of course, our Uncommons. 
Whoa, okay, our first mythic, a land tax. All right, all right, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. And, whoa, okay, so look, that's a double mythic pack right there. Sword of War and Peace and a land tax. All right, all right. The mythic straight here at the top. And a Crushing Vines. Oh, I love this card. Draft this card so much right now. Cleaving Barrier and a Mirror Token with Embrace Your Competitive Side. Stats replays and more. Magic.gg. Art by Steve Argyle. Of course, that is the, the Knight. All right. Pack number three. Or pack number four, rather. All right. Here we go. Cast Down. Here's some path. All right, let's get through. Ooh, a little Urza's mine. I like it. Like it. Rebuke. And Galvanic Blast is our first uncommon. Sunforger. First rare. Wait, we just went through the uncommons so fast again. All right, my piles are probably giving you guys a ton of pain right now, so let me make sure I actually do this properly. Here, here are uncommon. Welding Jar. Flicker Wisp. All right, I'm gonna get better, I promise. Sunforger is our first rare. Bosh, Iron Golem, Foil Sanctum Spirit, Foil Golem Skin Gauntlets, and Tuck Tuck, the return is our token. And on the back is a watch it live, Magic 24 7, twitch.tv magic. All right, cool. So, so far, just the back of these tokens, interesting enough. Um, okay. I am trying to get this autofocus to work, but it is, it is being very weird today. I use an iPhone to record, and usually the autofocus is better than anything else I can get. Um, I'm guessing it's because I zoomed around. Um, that's my guess. But uh, hey, what, what, what can I do about it at this point, eh? All right, here we go. Pack. I, I've lost track at this point <laughs> of which pack we're at. Weapons Trainer. Disciple the Vault. Oh, that's an OG. Gore Clan Rampager. The Cremator. The Mirror Battle Sphere. All right, all right. And we got some Gremlins. And a Foil Thopter Foundry. All right. Neat. It's very neat. And a corresponding Thopter token. How appropriate. Brace your competitive side. All right. And we'll keep rolling. Okay, here we go. Crop Rotation, it's an uncommon. The Monolith, all right, great uncommon. Thirst for Knowledge, a Meddling Mage, all right, all right. Austere Command, all right. Heartless Pillage, the Rampager, and a Clue Token. Get a Clue, all right, with the, this is nice. Okay, sweet. So far, we've only had two Mythics and they were in the same pack, which is kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. All right. The Trainee. The Culling Days. Obliet. Disciple of Bolas. Okay. Magus of the Will. Frogify. And what do we have here? Second foil. Is a foil rare. A Goto. Bandit Warlord. All right. Squirrel token with no compass, no problem. Locator that wizards are. Right. All right. Foil rare. Put that over there. Oh, wait. Let's open this pack. Fill out that entire row first. All right, here we go. Those are the commons. Buried Rune. Ooh, a Greaves. All right, all right. Lightning Greaves. Yavamaya's Embrace. Heat Shimmer. The High Priest. Strength of Arms. All right. Her eyes are super cool. Oh, that's Thalia. <laughs> a Sylvan Might. And an Elf Warrior token, with the back being a Friday Night Magic ad. All right. And now we go back to our regularly scheduled programming, where you're opening this pack. Bloodbriar, Cast Down. Cast Down being an a common is crazy to me. All right. The Ace. The Thopter Foundry. The Prism. Blasphemous Act. An Aristocrat. A Causalex Predator. Foil. Flicker Wisp. Foil. And now draws a spawn. All right. Now the back, of course. Friday Night Magic, another ad card. At least we can look at the backs as we do these. 
manager cube in every format in between wow so there's ads for everything there's mtgo the locator mtg arena the pro tour twitch stream they're, they're getting better at these ad cards i feel you know magus of the abyss all right all right glimmer void two cards that don't go well together i guess three bin inspector the spell bomb and a plant token with the yeah okay all right man these boxes i don't know what what happened with the mythics <laughs> all the mythics so far in one single pack i make sponsoring packs of these kind of like just buying a random pack seems such like scary creatures you control have double strike rage reflection come on come on camera give me that focus yeah it is not focusing on it okay all right what can you do whoa look at that a noble hierarch is our second rare in that pack all right that's yeah, that's a pretty good hit foil braid all right foil the vest and a mirror all right so far i don't know so far this box has not been the the most craziest box i've seen on the youtubes but uh <laughs> we, both of the both of the mythics were in the same pack so you know basically it's not going to take too much uh to get, get your value back if you know what i mean all right sylvan might and a couple of other goodies here we go with our thopter engineer clone shell is our second uncommon the mirror smith masterwork of ingenuity all right in our second a uh, third mythic skittles skitherix the blight dragon all right all right that's not a bad one foil whisper and a foil rare number two pure steel paladin all right and here we have a servo token all right all right yeah we'll keep rolling oh yeah there's an ad for friday night magic too it's kind of a funny ad I don't think they thought about, you know, the present situation when they made that ad. Riddle Smith, Sandstone Ar Oracle, Esperzoa, Leech of the Tangle, Godo, Foil Chromatic Star, right, that's a special one. Foil Culling Days and a Cat Token. Oh, what a cool Cat Token. Uh, Friday Night Magic ad. So, you know what I just realized? The reason why I'm going through the comments and uncommons so quickly is because there's less of them. All right, twice as nice. Oh, wait, whoops. So let's let's count, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight commons. Alright? Eight commons. <laughs> I'm used to there being uh, you know, eleven. So that's why I keep going through the commons and uncommons so quickly. Alright, so cranial plating, that's a nice one. Thought reflection. Alright, alright. A baleful strix, alright. Relic runner, the blast, and a separate link. All right, so I'm going to be more careful, not go through all, all the commons and the uncommons all at once. But that is why I keep blistering through them. Like, the natural flow of the pack has been a little disrupted for me. Because there are less commons. And uh, instead they have an extra rare and an extra foil, so. All right, a Thranax. Angel of Dawn. Surge Node. All right. It's th very cool looking Thopter. <laughs> Magic.gg. I do need to check out Magic.gg though. Like, I don't know what that is, but uh, it's kind of cool to me. Uh, so I'm going to go check it out for sure. Oh my gosh. I'm so, I'm so glad that this happened, by the way, because uh, I don't know. It's really nice to have some new border ones that aren't like, they don't look like they're super old. Exploration. Oh, what a great rare. Kemba! Reminds me of the basketball player. And our foils, germ token with a compass. Okay. Yeah, so uh, I'm glad that they reprinted the, the Urza lands because, um, I, I don't know, like, I know a lot of people do like the Antiquities and the Chronicles, the old stuff, the 8th edition or whatever, but it's nice to have them so accessible now. Like, that was a popper deck that I really wanted to play, but just couldn't justify Getting those old lands, because I don't know, I didn't like the old lands with the white border. I know some of you guys do like them, so I don't... Ooh, another mythic. Avenger of Zendikar! He is back. Will he be back again in Zendikar Rising? At this point, I have to assume yes, because everything gets reprinted. 
More than once. Treasure token. All right. We're almost in the box. I'm so excited to see what the box toppers are. Um, it is true right now we're, we're entering this weird phase where the foil toppers are worth uh, less. They're worth less. Oh, another mythic. Brea, Ethereum Sculptor. Duplicate. Oh, I love that art. Look at that. He's forming himself into that. And that guy, he, he's he's gone. He's gone for this world. Got our two foils. Human soldier. Um, and it makes sense. Like, like, how many of these do you think are going to get opened? We're seeing VIPs opened by the case. And boxes opened by, well, the box. People aren't opening 16 uh, boxes in videos, so... It's just more supply of the foils. Um, that doesn't mean necessarily the foils long term uh, will be, you know, worth more, uh, or sorry, worth less. Um, I think it could just be a supply issue right now, and then it could be adjusted later, because uh, the foils should be more desirable, right? That that should still be the case. Um, so you know, what I'm saying is there might be a buying opportunity, but. Uh, I think most people are just oh a thought sees. It's a good hit. An ion storm, revoke existence, foil ancient stirrings, and an ape. Alright. So we got some more. Some more packs open. But yeah, like I was saying, the foil versions, yeah, it's it's definitely there's a supply glut in them. But you know. Over the time, over the periods of time, I expect that to I do expect that to just kind of stabilize. Um, just, I don't know. I, I, I've yet to see the, the, the non-foils. We're about to see them soon. Um, but I can't imagine that I would prefer the non-foil over the foil. I don't know. It's just a personal preference. I do like my shiny, blingy stuff. Um, I do know some people prefer the non-foils uh, because of curling, because of, you know, there's, there's, there's a lot of reasons, okay? Um, straight up the aesthetics of the, the non-foil. Um, hey, Little Path to Exile action. Whole box only has one so far. Path to Exile. Uh, the Heath. The Geist. Wait, that's a mythic? No, it's a mythic. Okay, all right. All right, all right. All right. So that's the, what, the sixth mythic of the box. Iron Bully in a skin brand with a copy token. And uh, another add. Okay, so two more packs left, and then we get to go, go box toppering time. Um, but yeah. Let's see how the non-foils look. I'm so sorry, I can't zoom it in and do a nice little close-up. Hey, Greaves, the second Greaves. Ooh, that's a mythic that I want to see. Kalia of the Vast. Oh, look at that. It's kind of funny, you can only get the non-foil version of this in Double Masters boxes. So, same thing, it might, there might be a premium on it. All right, in a maze of it. Oh man, what a great pack. That was a good pack. That was definitely a good pack. All right, got our two foils. Soldier, twice as nice. Last pack of the box. All right, let's see what we got. Let's see what this looks like. All right, here we go. We got a, ooh, is this an uncommon? Yeah, see, I keep losing count because it's so few. Oh, got a rare, Sword of the Meek. Combos off of Thopter Foundry, of course. The Earthquake. What's this foil? Burden Explorer and Eager Construct and the Beast Token. All right, so yeah, let's see how we do, we've done so far. We uh, have, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven Mythics. All right, no Force of Will, no Jace. Uh, I don't know, maybe we kind of worked on some of the big hitters, but all it takes is a good, a good box topper. First one is Crop Rotation, all right? And the very last one. Wayne Reynolds, a Mythic, a Blightsteel Colossus. All right, all right. Not too bad at all. Okay, that's the video. Once again, from JBR to Danny. Thank you so much for sponsoring. Thank you so much for being so generous with me. I hope you enjoyed the polls. And that is that. Stay tuned for more box openings. Once again, live stream is at around 4, 5 p.m. Eastern, so in a few hours from now. Follow me on Twitch. I'll also be here, your YouTube Live, and I'll see you guys on the next one.